case I just use a vacuum with the blower on the back so the blower will serve as thing so just press this hole to make a pressurized air. clean every hole as much as possible so the big one is this one but be careful not to over Remove, remove the dust. That's good. Day. Especially the motors. This is where all the sounds came. If you hear squeaking sound, squeaking sound, that's a bad sign. You should. And including the holes on your gimbal, just don't make sure you overdo. And then the SD card slot. The gimbal motors here, the magnet. Side, of course check your batteries as well if it's corroded uh, especially if you go out at the sea on the beach cut it if you have a blower a vacuum blower you can just use this as their high pressurized air compressor. In For me, after 24 flights since uh, February uh, and almost 17,400 uh, meters of total distance and almost 2 hours and 15 minutes of flight time, I found some cracks. So it's just a matter of months. The way they designed this quad now with stronger motors. They can't bear handle the there's the noticeable crack if you can see it i'll adjust the iso okay so after 24 flights see a noticeable crack there it's been with me for weeks and i haven't installed it but now i guess it's time to do this so i'll show you how to install the plastic motor plates so I bought this plastic motor plate reinforcements, just maybe seven to fifteen dollars. Peso is seven hundred peso or six five hundred seven hundred peso. So these are plastics. I, I suggest uh, a metal will also do or aluminum motor plate uh, to provide heat sink to the motor as well. Since I had the plastic ones, let's do the three D printed plastic one comes with the torque screw, the T8 and then the T8 and for the 2mm. So the T8 is the longer one. So it has two extra. So in total there's two, four, six, eight and here there's ten. So those are at the back side. The longer ones are on the back. And the small ones there's also two extras for uh, uh, 16 and then plus there will be 20 of these which is for in this area okay first off I'm gonna remove all the screws of the stock screws of the DJI Phantom 3 counterclockwise so remove all that Okay, so you notice the the blue color is like the Loctite or 
yeah, for us, we will just apply nail polish or a nail replacement. If you have a hard time doing it, I use a magnet with the old magnet trick. Stick it or just put it here, and then pulls off. Now, good time to use a cotton bud to clean all those dirty stuff inside. Uh, the reinforcement plate it has the four shorter ones and the two longer ones. So the longer ones are the T8, the two millimeter ones are just one. The four ones on the front. So apply a small amount of nail polish. Lacquer, nail lacquer. Have a tip. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Okay, so usually it's six to seven turns on the back side, and this one you never don't need to over tighten it. But after test flight, make sure that it, these screws don't, don't get loose. So just by tapping it gently and see if it's like you need to tighten them again. So that's just a sign. But never over tighten. Them. Here in this part. This one maybe 67 turns. Use the magnet. Clean it. Yeah. Clean it. If you have air compressor, just Tighten, install the motor plate reinforcement. And just to make it sure it doesn't, you know, wobble. So one fly, like 10 minutes or maybe a one minute. Then put it down, check the screws if they're getting loose. And I hope this reinforces the, the casing underneath which is the common crack you have to keep that and the stock screw well you just keep it future use okay i'm gonna do a test flight after the motor mount replacement so the motor mount replacement plastic motor mount okay, 